welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren. If you're new here, how are ya? I'm good. It's Monday. I just had Chipotle and there's popsicles on my shirt, so I'm feeling good. Welcome back to another Taylor Swift Tuesday video. I'm so excited to bring it to you. I hope you are enjoying this little series of mine that I'm trying out. So this video is the Countdown to the Reputation Tour. Today when I'm filming it, it's eight days until Reputation, but when you're watching it, it'll be seven days to Reputation. I won't have time to watch and talk about her seventh day update, but you know what's coming today. It's gonna be great. I'm excited to listen to all these other facts that she's gonna be sharing with us until the Reputation Tour starts on May 8th. Woo, I'm excited. I still have no idea what to expect come May 19th when me and my friend Christina are going to the Reputation Tour. It will be my very first time seeing Taylor Swift live. I still have no idea where I'm sitting, but I did speak with Taylor Nation this week to confirm that they have two tickets for me waiting. That's all that I really needed to know. Speaking of tickets, I'm doing a giveaway for one ticket to the Taylor Swift Reputation Tour in LA on May 19th at the Rose Bowl. This contest runs until May 9th, so you still have time to enter it. All my friends in the LA and surrounding area, please enter it. The link is down below. So, as you all already know, as of April 25th, we were 13 days away from the Reputation Tour beginning. So of course, since 13 is Taylor Swift's favorite and lucky number, she had to do something for it. What she decided to do was to go on her Instagram and post a story each day up until the first day of the Reputation Tour, talking about the tour, giving us little facts and tidbits about the tour and just anything she really wants to talk about. And it's been so nice to see her on social media again. Wouldn't you agree? I just love seeing her cute little face. It's great. Makes me very happy and I know that every single day we're gonna get that about seven more times, hopefully more. I'm just stoked for it. So today I thought for my video that we'd watch them together and I'd chat with you about them because when I'm watching them I have lots of thoughts and I thought I'd share them with you. So let's begin. I'll move over a little bit so you can watch along with me. Hey guys, so it's 13 days till the reputation. Her hair looks so good. So obviously you had to know I was gonna like make a thing of that. <laughs> I was thinking, I'm so excited about the tour and I'm so excited to see you guys. I was thinking maybe I would tell you a fact about the tour once a day. How does she get her bangs to do that? I'd love to know. So fact number one about the Reputation Stadium tour is that um, so you've been asking how many songs from previous Where is she? Is she in Arizona? And my count my count is ten. So um, yeah, really excited about playing stuff from Reputation. Excited about playing stuff that is from previous albums too. And just check back because every day I'm going to be posting something about the tour, just something that's Yay! going on, um, something at rehearsals. Uh, so just check here and I will see you in 13 days. Oh my god, that face. Does that not remind you of Delicate? <laughs> Ugh, she's so cute. Like, because she's been MIA for so long, I forgot how long her hair's gotten. It looks great. Her bangs look incredible. Her makeup looks incredible. I, like, wonder where she is. Is she in Arizona right now? Is she... Somewhere else? Is she still in Nashville? I don't really know where she is right now. I'm like still so shocked that she's been able to stay out of the spotlight for so long. She's been so low key. I remember when she was staying with Joe in England, it was reported that she was wearing wigs and disguises so they could go out in public. And a part of me wonders if she still does that. I mean, I know you can have all the assistants in the world and have everyone you meet sign an NDA, but it's gotta be pretty boring staying indoors for that long, right? I, I, don't, I don't know. I feel like she's gotta be out and about in her own secretive ways that we don't really know about. We all know that Taylor isn't your regular pop star who does a press tour every single time she does an album because anything and everything that Taylor Swift does, there's always hype surrounding about it, but I wouldn't be mad if she went on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon and played some silly games. I wouldn't be mad about it. <laughs> Ugh, this is just why I want her to have a YouTube channel so we can just like see her do funny things. What's her nighttime skincare routine? How does she get up in the morning? I, I want to know these things. But anyways, so that's exciting that she'll be playing 10 songs from her previous albums. There's been a lot of lists going around online and on Twitter of people guessing which songs they want her to play. And I'm just so excited that I get to go to the show in LA because all of her celebrity friends live in LA. And we all know that on the 1989 world tour, it was so star studded with different celebrities, like people who didn't even sing came up on stage and I really hope she does that again and I hope that she does it in LA because that would be amazing. 12 days till tour. Um, Eyeliner on point. I was thinking maybe today I'd tell you a little bit about the stages that you're gonna... Hi mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a true tour in my face. Oh. So on the tour there will be three stages. The reason why I want there to be three is because I want to be able to get as close to you as possible. That cat so eye. Guys, then your 12 day update tomorrow very surprisingly uh there will be an 11 day update <laughs> just numerically that's what i think will happen next 
oh, that's sass. I love that little, that little hint of sarcasm that she always has. But did you notice what necklace she was wearing? She was rocking her J necklace for Joe. Absolutely love that. Maybe he'll be a special guest on one of the tours, like on the England leg. Oh, that would be really exciting. I hope he makes an appearance of some kind. I mean, the whole album's basically about him, so that will be the cherry on my reputation Sunday. Also, I love that her mom has a huge dog named Kitty. Hysterical. But oof, those stages. Everything she does is for the fans. I love that. If you go to Ticketmaster and you look at the other stadiums, you can see that there's little triangular stages on each side. I love that she wants to get closer to everybody. I wonder how she'll get to each stage. Is she just gonna like walk through the crowd, just hop on the stage? Or is she gonna like attach herself to a harness and like fly over the stage? She's been known to do that before. It's your 11 day update. God, why does her hair look amazing in every single one of these? Like today she looks like she's a strawberry blonde, but the day before she had like a balayage, bl I don't even know. Her hair is pff, everything, on point. 11 days till the Reputation Stadium tour starts. I wanted to talk to you about the backstage room that we always have on the tours. Yee! So there's always a room that I have backstage. During the show, we always pick people to come after the show to say hi and go to this room. Red tour, it was called Club Red. Loft 89 was 1989. This tour, it's called The Rep Room. Oh. So that will be the room where um, we're going to be looking in all kinds of different ways to get people and find people that I can meet after the show. Which I'm Yay! So oh my god, this looks sick. I'm getting some serious Slytherin vibes. Like, oh my god, Salazar Slytherin will be proud. Look at how cool this is. Oh my god, that eye, is that her eye? This is so cool. Oh, is that the look what you made me do, Throne? Side note, I just got the news that you guys broke the attendance record for the stadium in Glendale. Yay! So that's just, that's really great. Thank you so much for that. Meredith oh, also. Meredith! Oh my God, those little ears. For the Reputation Stadium tour, if someone comes up to you and says, hi, what would you do next? <laughs> Scott. I think I would do this. You give him some guitar pick and some- And, and a piece of paper. There's <laughs> ah, the rep room. That is so cool. I honestly forgot that she did that. She had a room backstage to just to meet people. The Club Red, Loft 89. I think that's so cool. I wonder how she's going to be choosing people. I mean, obviously she'll be stalking people on social media, probably on the Swift Life. Maybe she's even looking at theswifterlife.com. I also wonder if they're going to be like having little spies at the front door watching people walk in. Maybe people with signs, maybe people in costumes. That's actually something I wanted to like touch on. I know a lot of people on Twitter are talking about making signs. Would your signs that you're making be big enough to block someone's view? Because I know that if I paid a ton of money to go see Taylor Swift and I had a sign blocking me the whole time, I'd be pretty mad. Is there some type of like concert etiquette that I don't know about? I don't know. You tell me. Comment down below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Maybe it's like a thing where you just make a small sign and then every once in a while you just go boop. <laughs> I don't know. Clearly I'm new to this. I've never been to a Taylor Swift concert. I don't know how it normally is. Oh my god. I also love Scott Swift. He's so funny. I feel like on Tumblr and on Twitter, people who went to the secret sessions were always like, Scott was hilarious. Anytime I went up to him, he'd always just like dig in his pocket and hand us guitar picks. And I'm like, I love that. I still have my Taylor Swift guitar pick from the Taylor Swift pop-up shop. My Taylor Swift now guitar pick, yay. I still gotta, I, I guess I still have to christen this thing. I just don't really use, use guitar picks. Anyways, side note. Here's your 10 day update. Oh my God, her makeup looks amazing. Stadium tour. Can't believe it. Oh. In your 10 day update, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the stage. Um, later on in the countdown, I'm gonna start showing you things, which is gonna be really fun. Her hair um, color is different. The stage, the stage is the biggest stage we've ever had it's it's 110 feet tall and both of the b stages that are out in the audience are pretty much just as big as the main stage was on the 1989 tour that's insane the thing about this stage that we've never had before is um it's got a video screen wall that's pretty seamless and that continues down onto the floor so everything we are walking on on stage is a screen it's <laughs> so cool from like the upper sections of the stadiums um when we're walking on it, though, it's kind of like you're like walking on like an optical illusion. So we've all just been like a little bit like, oh, we'll get used to it, I promise. And these guys are about to be in single digits. This is really, really good. <laughs> 
God damn it, her makeup is so awesome. I need to find that shimmery red palette that she's using. I need that. But oof, I am so excited to see this stage. I mean, an entire video screen, background, and floor. That's crazy. That actually reminds me of Beyonce's performance at the Super Bowl when she did all that crazy cool stuff on the floor. And what's funny is in that clip, she was actually like off a little bit. Like she was like too south. It looked awesome. I remember people who are the Super Bowl being like, even though we weren't up close, like being in the upper rows was really cool because I got to see all these visuals down there. And I think that's really cool. Even if you don't have the greatest seats and you're super close, you're still going to have an insane view of everything that she created for us. Oh, that's so exciting. Look at her shirt that says hi. Our day off! I see some red solo cups. This is your first world tour, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is Red's first world tour! What city are you most excited about playing? In Florida, my hometown, A13. Oh, how fun! This is for the tour. What would you say your favorite song is that you think on the tour? The opening. The opening. Just like you get there, you get there, you're not going to be prepared for how you're going to feel. Baby of the tour. How old are you? 18. Oh my god, you're amazing. Look at her. So cute. Ugh, I always wonder how she chooses her dancers. Like, are these dancers from her past tours? I'm sure there are some people that she's worked with before, has hired them before in past tours and music videos, I'm sure. But like, there's gotta be some type of secret audition process for this, you know what I mean? They can't put out like a, Taylor Swift is looking for new dancers casting call without causing mayhem. So it's gotta be some type of casting process where they're like, anonymous pop star looking for dancers. <laughs> I don't know, I always love learning all the behind the scenes stuff and how the casting people do their job and do all of that stuff. That's why I moved to LA is because I love production and everything like that. And it always looks like they're such a family, like they have so much fun together. You know, they're all just like hanging out. They were probably playing beer pong. There were some red solo cups in the background and this is their day off. I'm sure rehearsing every single day for a few months now to get everything right. For this world tour, they've been rehearsing probably every day. So it's really cool that they're having one big like party day, drinking, hanging out, just having a fun time. I think that's really cool. I also love that they acted out a line from This Is Why We Can't Have Nice Things, jump into the pool from the back balcony. Love that. And also, whose badass house is that? Amazing. Taylor, sign me up for the next pool party, please. Oh, she's so cute. Ooh. Wow. Piano is going to be used for two songs in the set. One of them is on Reputation. One of them is an older song. That mystery will be solved in Oh my god. Ooh, that tea that she just spilled just there when she called it that mystery. I think I think I know what that means, but I, I don't know. I, I'm unsure. But first of all, that piano is gorgeous. Like, what wood is that made out of? Oh my god, I'm so excited to hear her play it. My bet is that the song from Reputation that she'll be playing will be New Year's Day. That's that's my bet. But you know, you never know. She could surprise us. She could turn this is why we can't have nice things into a piano song, although I hope she doesn't. I really want to see her dancing for that one, to be honest. But yeah, I feel like she's going to do New Year's Day. Uh, that, that one's just beautiful on the piano. But for the song that's not on Reputation, oh, I wonder if it will be the infamous song All Too Well. That's one of my absolute favorite Taylor Swift songs. It was even named the best Taylor Swift song of all time by Billboard, I think it was. They named it her best song of all time. You guys, what if she busts out the full version of All Too Well, the 10 minute version that has never been heard? Ooh, we'd freak out. We'd all, oh my God, we would scream. We would freak out. That would be absolutely epic. But I don't know if it will be All Too Well just because Reputation is not about that album. It's, it's about her current relationship and this and that, but I don't know, it's such a fan favorite. I don't imagine that she'll be doing all pop and happy songs, right? She's gotta do maybe one or two slow songs. I don't know, it'd be so incredible to hear All Too Well. Maybe we'll get some more of that hair flipping action from All Too Well, I don't know. We, I mean, we all know that Taylor once told us that All Too Well was actually 10 minutes long and she had to cut it down to like five minutes and 
30 seconds in order for it to fit on the red album. Speaking of all too well, I want to read you an Instagram post that the account Swiftuation posted. Thank you so much to ATButcher898 for DMing me this on Instagram. I really appreciate it. I did not know about this until you sent this to me, so thank you. I love when you guys reach out to me on social media and DM me. Mama Swift was telling us how Taylor puts her heart into every song she writes and that the most heart-wrenching song she has ever written was All Too Well. This is my all-time favorite song, so I held on to every word being spoken. She told us that Taylor wrote All Too Well while they were still rehearsing for the Speak Now tour. Taylor came to the stage and everyone could tell she had been crying. Everyone knew she had just gone through a bad breakup, but the show must go on. She picked up a guitar and began to play the opening to All Too Well. She sang bits and pieces of it and the band looked around confused because this was a song they didn't know. Then it dawned on everyone in the room that they didn't know the song because she was writing it right then and there. Slowly the band began to join in with her. By the time she got to the part where it goes, you called me up again just to break me like a promise. Andrea said she was crying and screaming the words. When she was finished, Mama Swift turned to the sound guy and asked if he recorded it and he tearfully said that he did. She kept the song until the Red album because it was still too raw in 2010. Oh my god. I don't even know if that's true. I mean, I it sounds like it's true. I, I would I would think that it is because we all know that Taylor Swift does. She puts her heart and soul into every song that she writes. That's why all of her old stuff and her new stuff is like opening the pages of, a, of someone's diary because I just don't know how you put these things into words. We've all gone through, well, I don't know if you have, but I've gone through my fair share of really bad breakups and one of the lines that really kills me in a really therapeutic way and all too well is when she says I'd like to be my old self again but I'm still trying to find it like oh my god I don't know how these words come into your head and you it, it, oh it's amazing and I applaud you and this is why we love you Taylor this is why we love you. Those are my thoughts to the 13 Day Countdown to the Reputation Tour. I'm excited that we're going to continue to see more and more stuff about the Reputation Tour. I'm excited. You're excited. We're all excited. The world is excited. And I'm just so happy and thankful that I get to go this year. And then I get to experience it with one of my best friends, Christina. It's going to be amazing. Oof, I'm so excited. If you're going, please comment down below. Tell me what day you're going. Tell me what you're wearing. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I feel like I want to make a shirt that says rep. But I don't know how to do that. I might have to go to Michael's and figure something out. I don't know. I feel like I don't know how to get those curvy letters, but I want to do something. Let me know what you're wearing. Send me a photo on Instagram. I'd love to see it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please remember to leave it a like and subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my vlog channel and enter the contest. There's still time. And I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.